And the lyric is, hey, this that slime shit. Hey, YSL shit. Killing 12 shit. Fuck a jail shit. This that mob shit. YSL, this that mob life. Now, that was not what Thug meant to Jeffrey. Thug meant and means to Jeffrey something very personal. It was his pact that he could ever make it as a musical artist and help his family, himself, and his many others out of this endless cycle of hopelessness. He would be truly humble under God. That's what thug means. Now, I don't know what the hell going on in this whole YSL Rico case, but this thing is so damn unserious. First off, his lawyer's defense argument is going viral because it's pure bullshit. Everyone's calling his lawyer Saul Goodman because the way he's trying to twist the narratives and shit. Like this man said, Young Thug stands for truly humble under God. Where the hell he get that acronym from? But that's not it because he said pushing P stands for pushing positivity. And because of these points, everybody's like, oh, Jeffrey coming home for sure. He better be free. They calling these bulletproof arguments, bro. How dumb do y'all think the jury and the judge is? Nobody in that courtroom is going to believe for a second that this shit means truly humble under God. But even though Young Thug's lawyers aren't complete shenanigans, he still might win because of how fucking stupid the prosecutors are. They got caught trying to hold evidence. Also, they forgot to add slides in their argument against Young Thug. And the judge is over this shit too. He said this is ridiculous. And he said he might have to call another mistrial if they keep on fucking around. Yes, boss. Back in here again once again, man. Happy to be here, yo. So, I've been seeing these Young Thug trial clips. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't think I've laughed this hard in like, <laughs> in a minute, bro. I never knew that there were lawyers who really go this hard in being serious but putting up these stupid points when it can be counteracted if they allow lyrics to be presented. You feel me? That's why I played that first clip. The lady was literally using all the Young Thug's lyrics out of one song. I forgot. I think it was one of his first tapes she used it off of. First or second tapes. But if you play Young Thug's lyrics, nothing about Young Thug represents God, bro. I'm just being honest with you. And this is the part about it. The lawyer went as far as saying pushing P means pushing positivity. And the lyrics from that could be played as well. Nothing in there was about <laughs> being positive. Like, here, here's the funny part, right? Why I said all of this is hilarious to me. It's either the lawyer is that strong in his belief of what he thinks and he's using that. To get Young Thug out, obviously. Or, plot twist, he's just really just trying to sound dumb. And play on the jury's intelligence and the prosecution. And in hopes that, yeah, you guys are stupid. Maybe we could walk away with this. But maybe he's just trying to get him like, I don't really care about the case. Because all of the arguments, I'm going to be honest. If those are his best points he could find. Young Thug, in my book, he's fried, bro. Whether he gets past this series in a court or whatever, this is something where that the, uh, the feds can eventually pick up on stuff like this if the state doesn't do what they're supposed to do. Because there's a lot of holes in this case that can easily be combated and they're not doing a good job of it. You get what I'm saying? So just the mere fact that this is what took me out. The, um, the lawyer basically said, yo, the defense attorney said, yo, Thug means truly humble under God. Dog, nothing once again, as I stated, about young Thug <laughs> is in a godly way, dog. God represents love, you feel me? So yeah, there are certain things young Thug he could have used as an argument if God is loving, young Thug calls people my love and this, that, and the third, which he does. He calls men his love and all of this other stuff. That's a better angle he could have came up with. But 
just the mere fact he used pushing P for the P means positivity. Um, thug, truly humble under God. Young Thug is a he's a studio gangster. The, these guys though they don't do this stuff for real. Like, yo, there's a lot of documentaries online about Young Thug and his beefs, bro. Like, there's easy ways that prosecution can go ahead and counteract all of his arguments. So that just shows me that either the prosecution doesn't know what they're doing, they don't have nothing to to truly go against him with, but it's like it, it kind of seems fake at the same time. You feel me? Like it's staged, bro, because there's plenty of stuff you can use on Young Thug. It doesn't even necessarily have to be just lyrics. You get what I'm saying? Not saying I'm trying to get him thrown away, but it's like I see in his in the prosecution's argument, I don't really see anything that's like solidified. You feel me? Defense attorney wise, I look at him as like a joke, bro. Everything the defense attorney has said, be honest with you, if you've ever watched the Boondocks, rewatch the R. Kelly trial. That's what this sounds like to me, dog. Exactly sounds like the R. Kelly trial, where he tried to make it seem like, oh, R. Kelly just has love for his sisters. That's why he did what he did. Like, dog, nah, it doesn't wipe out the fact of certain things. You're just trying to take the negatives and spin it and turn it into a positive. Everybody knows what thug means, you feel me, or what a thug is, you get what I'm saying? Not necessarily what it means, but what a thug generally is. So the fact that you're taking thug and turning it into a manner of God, but at the same time, young thug is a blood, meaning gang member, like there's plenty of things they can use against him. That's why I'm looking at it like this whole trial is like a joke, bro. There's nothing about this that says why is it going on so long they could have already finito the trial it's like they're just holding it out for just god's sake who god make god knows you get what i'm saying but nothing about this seems like really real to me bro you have gunner snitch gunner snitched on him and gave him away you feel me gunner who was on crime stoppers this is something anybody could have seen from a mile away gunner is not a gangster gunner went ahead and took his plea, made sure he got up out of prison, now or jail or whatever the case may be. Now he's on the road doing shows and doing his music. You feel me? Thug is still sitting. There's been so much people who've went against Young Thug and Young Thug is still sitting there. And this is a great angle for teaching, right? There's a lot of people, i.e. like younger guys and the younger females, younger generation, who want to prove themselves on how real they are, how solid they are. I don't take pleas. I'm not backing down. Everybody snitched on me. Everybody turned on me. Here's the thing that people need to understand, bro. A young thug is sitting right now. And he's been sitting for not too long, but he's been sitting. If they find him guilty, bro, they can throw him away for life, dog. This is the stuff that people like the glorify a run to. You have to understand that when you glorify the street life or you want to be bad or prove yourself I'm with it, you become a, a, a high risk of throwing your life away, dog. And people don't really try to sit down and think about that. When you throw your life away, meaning you're not coming back out here, you're on the inside, you're eating whatever it is that they have to give you in there. You're dealing with whatever BS problems you have to deal with in there. And everybody knows that when you go to prison, that it's like you have to either join up with something, either become Muslim, join a gang, do something. Because in prison, it's like you can't just be be to yourself. You have to be a part of something. It's, it's like you're like you're like a like a, a open source in a way. You feel me? There's a lot of things about prison why I don't see why people glorify it and respect it or why people will even take the reference of in order to be deemed or considered as a man, you need to go to prison. I'm here to tell you that's the highest form of bullshit. There's no form of truth behind you need to go to prison or go to jail and prove yourself to be deemed or considered a man, dog. That's a trick, dog. A lot of people who go there, they have to do something bad or be 
convicted of something they either never did to be thrown in that situation. You get what I'm saying? But majority rule of the people who've done something to be in jail or prison, they're there for a reason, dog. So you have to really understand this. When you're out here living life or you're out here playing these games, oh, I'm, I'm a thug or I'm with it. You doing this for females, you doing this for attention, you doing this for clout, you can end up like Jeffrey, you feel me? You can end up like Young Thug, sitting, and all of your friends that you thought were going to be there for you end up telling on you, taking plea deals, making you look a certain kind of way. You get what I'm saying? And once the judge and the system has you right where they want you, they're going to make sure that they do everything it is to put you away. You feel me? Because you're deemed as a threat to society. You get what I'm saying? With the amount of things that Young Thug has pinned against him, shooting up tour buses, gang wars, all of these different uh, mishaps, that just goes to show what type of individual you are, either person, what you get caught up in, it doesn't mean that that's who you are at heart, but that's what surrounds you. You get what I'm saying? It's like that famous saying, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. You have to understand that what you're affiliated with, what you involve yourself in, that kind of somewhat tells the story about you, whether you want it to be that way or not. You feel me? When people affiliate themselves with gangs or I'm this or I'm that, and you don't try to look at the bigger picture of what that really means or where that can land you, you're going to find yourself in a world of problems, bro. From Young Thug being in gangs, claiming certain things, oh, YSL is this, oh, YSL, Eve St. Laurent, Young Slime Life, or whatever it really stands for, this is something where once the judge and the system has you, and they have certain things against you, and they play with your freedom, you're, you're going to start to feel the fire. Oh, I, I'm sitting or I'm not coming home. That doesn't mean that when you have the opportunity, if you get it to come home, that you screw it off or, oh, I'm throwing rocks at the chain gang or I'm dissing the feds or whatever it is I went through. Nothing wrong with talking about what it is that you went through and making it change. That's where it's at, dog. But you trying to glorify and deem something that you escaped knowing damn well you wouldn't want to be there is like saying you never learned your lesson in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Violating and doing wrong out here doing messed up things, hurting people, innocent people, just to feed your carnal habits or do whatever it is that you need to satisfy yourself, you're, you're literally saying you never learned anything in the first place. You feel me? Tell you what it is I, I, I want to really get across to you, right? Prison, jail, that's nothing to be glorified or anything to be respected, dog. There are some people who find themselves in situations and they have to go there. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people who glorify certain things and do things in an ill-advised way and they land themselves there and then when they get in there, they want to know why nobody writes them or why people left them out there. You have to understand that in life, people will use human nature against you. Meaning if you're a hothead, I could use you to handle all of my beefs or use you to do whatever it is I need you to. Like a throwaway, you get the job done. That's all you, you're good for, you're just good for the job. You feel me? And people, they fall into this lifestyle and they throw their life away. Or oh, I'll sit down some years for my friend. Or I'll do this, that, and the third. Young Thug is a prime example of everybody turning their back on him. You get what I'm saying? How is it your artist turned his back on you? Your brother turned his back on you? People in your own gang turned their back on you? took lesser times, took plea deals just to get out and taste free air. That's another thing. When people like to glorify this lifestyle, you're in and out of jail, in and out of prison. It's like saying like, yo, you're like allergic to free air, dog. You don't like the free air. You don't like to eat like real good food, bro. It's like you like eating, like making bricks and fighting every day for your life and certain shit. You get what I'm saying? Having somebody tell you, oh, you only get one hour to be outside or it's 23 hour lockdown or whatever the case may be, or you have to go to a hole. I'm not judging nobody for who they are, or what they came from. I'm just here to tell you, you doing that stuff, you're giving your life, your time, your years, your prime years, your best years away to the system. Something that never cared about you, dog. You're dedicating your life to something that doesn't care about you. 
when you want to go out here and you're proving yourself and proving yourself to the next person that I'm with it, it's like saying that you're living for other people. And that's like rule number one in the Bible, dog. You shouldn't be out here living for the world, bro. You need to understand that. If you have a family to take care of, take care of your family. That's where it's at, bro. That's what it's about, dog. Taking care of your family, taking care of your kids. It's nothing cool with throwing your life away or playing hopscotch with the justice system, dog. Like it's a joke. And then just to go and put it in a rap song and do a video about it. It's nothing cool about that. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't judge nobody. I just want people to open their eyes and understand that young thug can be looking at his life being thrown away and he's in the system forever, dog. This is something you need to understand. There's a lot of people that are still in prison till this day, bro. You have people like Max B, Max Bigavel that's still in prison for how many years now? And people still owe oh, Max B. Max B was real. Max B this. Max B is still sitting in prison, dog. This is the thing. What are you really going hard for to prove, dog? How real you are? Because if that's what you're trying to prove, I'm here to tell you, you can end up like a young thug. You can end up like a Max B. You can end up like the rest of them, dog. With your life being thrown away, somebody slamming and cramming the hell out of your old lady, and you missing out on life and new things that's out here, bro. Don't live your life for other people, bro. Look at BG when BG came home. BG came home from doing over 10 years over having a pistol on him, right? When BG came home, you could see the happiness and the excitement on his face. Because he had time taken away from him to where he had to sit down. His prime years taken away from him. Now he's back out here and he's just trying to enjoy it. Enjoy life, bro. This is the stuff you guys need to understand. When somebody's going into prison, there's somebody coming out. Just like when there's somebody coming out, there's somebody going in, bro. They're building new prisons by the day, dog. Because there's a lot of people who don't understand the difference between enjoying your freedom and not wanting to throw your life away, bro. I understand that there are certain situations where emotions run high, the stakes are high, but if you can help avoid a situation where you don't have to throw your life away, bro, don't throw your life away, dog. Your life is precious, bro. Whether you want to believe in it, dog, I care about your life, bro. You get what I'm saying? I had a lot of homies that I known either thrown their life away, lost their life innocently, from doing the wrong things, moving too fast, and they never had proper guidance, dog. And when certain people try and talk to them, they don't want to listen. You know who they're willing to listen to? The young thugs, the boosies, the people who don't give a fuck about you and don't even know that you exist, bro. These are things you need to learn and understand from early, dog, because it can save you in life. You feel me? With that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. It's your boy 444 The World. Peace.